You? <laughs> really? Well, I can see that you have a strong heart, but your looks, they really do nothing for me. Oh well, you're here to challenge me then. Yes, I am. And just so you know, I did have a really hot boyfriend. Though he's not together with me anymore. <laughs> oh honey, I know all about it. My little birds tell me you were dumped for someone far more beautiful. <laughs> As if I ever wanted you over Cherie, you gotta be kidding me. I can't believe you thought I was being serious. Well, I know enough about him to know he's an idiot for hurting someone as amazing as you. Oh, stop it. I realize now that I would give up all of this just to see them again. Well, the next one's Envy. I heard his region is the worst, but I guess we'll see about that soon enough. What is that? Ugh, Envy is so tacky. His region is so tasteless. Why does his palace look like that? He's gone from just envying things that others have to actually taking it from them. It seems he has destroyed the houses in this region and built his palace from their parts. He was always a bit troubled. Speaking of troubled, what's up with Sam? Huh? I just feel strange. Strange? How? Kinda awful? I can't explain it. Hmm, same here. I have a knot in my stomach. I think I feel it too. Does this region have some sort of weird aura? It's the feeling of uncontrollable frustration and envy. Really? Yes, and it will only get stronger when you get closer to the palace. And it's all because of envy? Yes, I personally think it's better to just let it all out instead of brooding like envy does. Of course you do. Sam, are you okay to proceed? Yeah, I'm fine. Ugh, seriously? You guys are always looking out for each other. What about me? No one cares about how I'm feeling. Millie, what? you guys should just kiss and get it over with. I'm sick of being the third wheel. Millie, you're wrong. Of course we care about you. You're just so strong. It's hard to tell if you're feeling down. Hm. Fine, I believe you. For now, we're here for you if you ever need us. Just tell us if something's wrong. Okay, okay, geez. What's up with her? I think Envy's aura might have something to do with it. I'm feeling it too. Yes, me too. We'd better leave you guys to it. Uh, you know what? How about I proceed on my own? I don't want you guys to feel any worse than you already do. I'm so jealous. You always get to do these cool things. When will my shining moment come? You know, it's not so cool. It's actually pretty scary knowing you might not be able to come back if you fail to defeat the sin. Like, what do you guys even do when I'm in there by myself? Do you just, like, relax and have a good time? Wow, Cassie, you're such a martyr. No one's forcing you to do this if you don't want to. What? Are you kidding me? You guys literally said the world is counting on me to do this. Millie, you're being really combative. How about you take a little time out? What, so you guys can get to be alone together? Ha! <laughs> Have it your way. You wouldn't even care if I was gone. Millie? She'll calm down. Are you sure? Yeah, but I think you'd better go to Envy soon. His aura is definitely making her more dramatic than she usually is. Envy really seems to bring out the worst in people. Ugh. <sighs> I feel really bad for upsetting her. Ugh, don't worry about it. Just defeat Envy so we can get out of here. Sam, you're not really being yourself either, you know? Neither are you. Just be careful. I'll try. Wow, I feel kind of defeated. Oh, hey, you're Envy, right? Yes, and you must be Cassie. I am. I'm here to challenge you. <laughs> of course you are. You have everything you could possibly want. Friends, glory, fame. Now all that's missing is taking me down. Because what you've done just isn't enough for you, is it? Uh, no. I mean, yes, I have to defeat you. Give me your best shot. You think you're so much better than the rest of us. What? No, I don't. But I can see into your heart. You know exactly what it feels like to be envious. Huh? Look into the void and tell me what you see. Aw, oh, honey, look at the sunset. It's beautiful. 
<laughs> Not as beautiful as you. Aww, I love you. I love you too. Mwah. Just look at them. So happy. Something you've never experienced in your life. Are you kidding me? I'm not envious of Cherie. You've got it all wrong. Really? Have you seen what her life is like? Um, no. But I know she's not very bright. Just like Troy. Maybe that's why they're such a great match. Really, Cassie? You know you're better than her, and yet she has your boyfriend? A huge house, and she's the most popular girl in school. How does that make you feel? Well, she's not as smart as me, and I know once high school is over, I'll have a much better chance in life to do great things. You think so, Cassie? Did you know that Cherie's father is the owner of a very prestigious law firm? Wow, no I didn't. Did you know that without any job experience, she scored a very coveted internship position there? Just because of her father. What? No way! That's so unfair! She's not in any way qualified for that. I know, yet this is her everyday life. How does it feel knowing that she'll never reach any of that? even if you spend the rest of your life working hard. It feels really frustrating. How did she get that job? Come in. Here's your drink, miss. I asked for a lime soda, did you not hear me? I'm so sorry. Get out of here. Wow, she's not very grateful, is she? That's the thing, Cassie. These people don't even value what they have until it's gone. Wow, that's beautiful. I had no idea she could play so well. I know, right? On top of having a perfect life, she can play the piano perfectly. How many instruments do you play, Cassie? None, really. I never had the time to learn anything. I was so busy helping my mom around the house. Aren't you envious of her? Look how graceful she is. I am, but... She looks so sad. You play that beautifully, sister. Thanks, but I know I'll be hearing about it for the rest of the evening. What do you mean? Well, I messed up that one part in the beginning. <sighs> Mom will be so disappointed in me. She always is. Uh, you're probably right. She'll be mad at me for scoring a B plus in my French too. Yep, you know it's A or nothing. Though Chester. Hmm? I'm surprised you only got a B plus seeing as you don't even have a life outside of school. Gee, thanks. And here I thought we were having one of those brother and sister bonding moments. Ha, <laughs> if it was up to me, we wouldn't even be related. You're horrible. <sighs> oh, I didn't mean it that way. He's the only one who knows what I've been through, and I can't even give him a break. Oh, what's wrong with me? Enough of this! Huh? How can you be envious of her life? Well, look at her. She has everything she could possibly want. No, she doesn't! Overachieving, disappointed parents, a brother she can't connect with even if she wants to. You don't know anything about her life. But you saw with your own eyes how she has everything you desire. No, I don't desire anything. I'm just grateful I have real friends, supporting and loving parents, and I can live my life without worrying about them being constantly disappointed because I'm not perfect. Hmm. So maybe you're the one who has everything. I have everything I need. Sure, a big house and an internship at a prestigious law firm would be cool, but... Those things don't mean anything if you're lonely and sad. I'm not... Sad? Yes, you are. I can see it in your eyes. You're constantly feeling envious of what others have because you're missing the most important thing in life. Friendship. I do have some friends. Let me guess, the other sins? When's the last time you even saw them? I don't remember. Envy, stop feeling bad about yourself and rejoin your friends. Like Greed said, you deserve a much better life than this. You need friends, people who will remind you that you already have everything you need. <laughs> Greed. He's not one to talk, he always gets what he wants. No, he doesn't. He's really lonely, actually. H he is? Yes. See, Envy, there's always more to the story than you could possibly understand. Never envy someone because of their possessions. They might actually lead a pretty lonely life. Just like Cherie and Greed. You think she's had a hard life? You're willing to feel compassion for your enemy rather than Envy? She's not my enemy. She's just someone my ex happened to fall in love with. I'm glad she at least feels happiness with him. Her life seems so sad under the surface. Under the surface.
Huh? What what just happened? Envy? <sighs> I feel so much better. But I feel really sad for Cherie. I had no idea her life was so hard. Envy, if you can hear me, just know that you have friends now. We're all here for you. Oh, hi. Looks like you did it. Yeah, sorry it took so long. Um, Cassie? Yeah? I I'm sorry I was so rude to you before. I don't know what took over me. <laughs> don't worry about it. I was pretty harsh too. Friends? Friends. Yeah, sorry I was so pushy before too. This isn't about you, man. Give us a second. <laughs> Apology accepted. So, only pride remains. Yeah, I can't believe it. You've done a great job so far. I knew you could do it. I wonder what he'll be like. Who? Pride. All the sins so far have seemed so sad once I got to know them. Sad? Maybe the sins were born through the loneliness when the region separated. What are you talking about? To think it's all Pride's fault. If it weren't for him, all the people who suffered would have led happy lives. Hate to break it to you, but you're wrong, Cassie. Yeah, don't forget it was the will of the evil queen to give Pride and his friends control of the regions. But maybe she's not all that bad. I'm sure there's something under the surface we haven't discovered yet. You can keep dreaming. Some people are just bad. Anyways, I'm ready to get out of this place. Shall we move on? Yeah, let's finish this.